Do you want to play with the ball? Get it! And basically today, oh my god, I'm so excited. I am going to be doing the family collection by Jeffree Star. Oh my god, it's ball time. Every time he sees me working, it's like, it's playtime, mum. And I'm like, Bubby, I gotta work so I can afford you toys, okay? Ready? So I'm just gonna announce the elephant in the room. I am a little bit darker because I fake tanned. It kind of clung on to my eczema as well. So I'm not tanned here because I've got a really dry neck. Okay, that's... This is weird. Anyways, let's just get started because I'm so excited and I'm literally about to poo my pants on camera. So let's get started! Woo! I got the whole collection because I could not help myself. I got the two lip scrubs, I've got the pancake one and the peach popsicle one. And I also got the Nefri highlighter. And of course I got the family collection. So. I'm gonna put on some lip scrubs and I'm gonna tell you what I think about each Labour Flav. So the first one that I was super duper excited for was the pancake and syrup one, because I love pancakes. Oh my god. It's so weird because it tastes like maple syrup, but also it tastes kind of like savory because that's what pancakes are. Oh my god, how do they do that? Yeah, it's so bloody delicious. Oh my god. Next up, I'm going to be trying the uh, peach popsicle. So this is the one that Jeffrey made. The pancake one was made by Nathan, his boyfriend. What have you got? Oh my god. That tastes so tangy. I don't know how to explain it. It's sort of similar to watermelon, I'm not going to lie, but it's, it is really nice. So those are the lip scrubs. I totally recommend them. They are delicious. And the pancake one is so weird because it really does taste like pancakes and I'm so shook. Next up is the Nefri. So as you can see, I swatched it on my hand. I've not put it on my face and I feel so nicky nicky naked for not having highlighter on right now. So I, we're going to do that right now. So welcome back to my channel. So I'm just going to... Have you got your crocodile? Yoshi is desperate to play. So I'm just going to swirl my brush around. I'm going to coat it. Oh my lord. Oh my Post Malone. No, are you actually even, are you serious? At first I thought it was going to be a lot like Princess Cut, so I wasn't really like feeling this highlighter, but Oh my god, the formula of this. You know how some of the highlighters are really hard to use? Like, I don't know how to explain it, they're hard. Whereas like Ice Cold isn't hard to use or like the Lavender Snow, but one that's really hard to use is Princess Cut and Re the Regina George. Like it's just hard to get product on, I don't know why. It's like it's pressed really good or something. But this is really easy to use. Oh, guys. Okay, I'm gonna put it all over my face. Oh my god, I'm so part of the family now. Put it on my forehead. Yep, cool. This is great. I do actually love this, but I think it would look a lot better if I was pale. It is a beautiful highlighter. So I'm glad that I'm dripping in highlighter. Like, that is... I'm so happy about that. Don't chew the painting. Good boy. Alright, so I'm gonna go right in with the lipsticks. I'm so excited. Okay, if you don't follow Jeffree Star and all that and just like looking at the lipsticks and stuff, this was made by his boyfriend, this was made by Jeffrey, and these are the dogs. Yoshi? These are not made by the dogs, but it, they, it's got something to do with the dogs. So for example, the Lipstick Diva, that's the colour that Jeffrey and Nathan would dye the dog. There was like a vegan dye, don't worry about it, they wouldn't go and get like Schwarkoff and like, you know, dye them. Uh, but yeah, so uh, there's a story behind all of these. If you want to know the story behind all of them, Check out his video, um, free promo for you, Jeffrey. All right, so let's chuck these bad boys on. Yes! The lipsticks that I am most excited for are these two lipsticks right here. So let's see if I, it lives up to the expectation. It is diamond and delicious. I am so excited for these two. Oh my God, I'm... I can't wait to put these on. The first color that I'm going to be putting on is the color Nathan. It is, it is just literally called Nathan. So this is Nathan. It kind of is like a terracotta light pink. I really like how it looks 
with my skin tone right now and I think it would look awesome with really pale I haven't tried it with pale yet so I've only I haven't even put these on my lips I've only put them on my hands and I think you guys might have saw that on Instagram but what do I think about this color I think it's beautiful it's a really nice nude and it reminds me of summer. This is quite a summery colour, even though this is not the summer collection. And don't worry, I know that I need to finish the summer collection. It's just that my skin was really terrible. This is like the first time I've done like a makeup thing in ages because my skin has had a bloody meltdown and I've been really unwell. So, PSA, sorry. Um, but yeah, this lipstick is so beautiful. Oh my god. Like, I'm really digging this. I... I really like this. I thought that I wouldn't like it. It looks a lot different in the bottle. Now, to be honest, I was a little bit disappointed when I saw this because there are already like about three that are, that look so similar to this colour, but you know, it's all good. It's fine, I'll put up with it, but I might actually fall in love with this, who knows. So let's put it on right now and find out. Oh, I'm so bad at doing my lips. Okay, I'm so sorry for the shocking applic application. Oh my god. Application! I actually do really like this. It was really smooth to put on, but then again, it does remind me of like designer blood and rich blood and just all the bloods out there. You know what I mean? I do really like this though. It is a really nice red. Like, it's not as dark as unicorn blood, but it's not as light as red rum. Sorry about the squeaking. I can't help it. I do actually really like this. I really like it with my teeth. I really like dark lipsticks. I wasn't too fussed about this colour. I was just kind of like, oh yeah, I've, I've seen it before. No, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen a little bit of this uh, here and there. Yeah. Okay, that was so hard to get off, which is a good thing. That is a good thing. That means it will with last like dinners, drinks, pashing. Okay, maybe not pashing, but like, you know. The next colour that I'm going to be putting on is Diva, which is one of the cute little dogs. As you guys all know, I'm not a pink girl. I'm going to put it up against Prom Night. It's just a little bit more lighter. Not as hardcore as this colour. Does remind me of Dreamhouse. And Dreamhouse is that one. It's just way more metallic. But this one has got glitters in it. Like very small glitters. Um, okay, so that is Diva. I'm not fussed about this colour at all. I don't, again, it's because I don't like pinks. So you don't see me wearing these kinds of colours anyways. It's a nice colour, yeah, for sure. And it will totally suit lots of other people, but this is just not a me. Kato potato colour. So this is probably my least favourite that I've tried on so far. Can someone in the comments below remind me to buy some more makeup wipes? Because honestly, I have got none. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So the next colour that I'm trying on is... Diamond! I'm so excited! It is this beautiful periwinkle colour and it is... Ow! Don't scratch! And there's nothing in this collection like this which is what I love. Like colours that just don't remind me of anything else. It, like it's like so original. These are the colours that I live for. God, you really scratched me, Yosh. Look at this. I'm just dying. Okay, so let's put it on! Oh... I love it already! I have no words. That is by far my favourite in the collection. Like, this is incredible. I just can't deal. I can't. I cannot explain to you how much I love this colour. Like, this is amazing. I honestly can see myself wearing this so many times. I'm now going to be buying clothes that like ha like match this colour so I can like m mix and match. <sighs> I cannot wait to do a tutorial on this. And yes, I will do a tutorial for every single one of these. Um, I'll probably do this before I do the summer, before I end the summer collection one. I'm probably going to dive right into these. This is what you guys want to see. I'm living for this colour. It took a little bit to build up because it's such a pale formula, but oh. Girl, I will slap it on. I'll put 80 layers on if I need to. Like, this is an amazing... I got it on my teeth colour and I am so... <laughs> okay, the next one I'm super excited for as well is this colour right here. It is called Delicious. And it really does look delicious. It kind of looks like a chocolate pudding. And I'm living for it. So yeah, let's check this on.
Again, I was right with my gut instincts. This is an amazing, beautiful colour. Oh my god, it is so... I just can't get over it! It's like a 90s colour. I love it so much. It's so... It's just so beautiful and it's like... It doesn't remind me of anything else in this collection, apart from maybe a few from the holiday collection. Oh my god. Oh my god, they dry completely as well. It dries so fast. So, so fast. It literally lives up to its name. Like, you can't... I can't think of anything else to describe this, but it's just delicious. I probably am going to be wearing this all the time. Like, probably a little bit more than the diamond one, to be honest. You know, this might go with a few more of my clothes, but this is such a stunning colour and I love it! Okay, the last colour that I'm going to be putting on right now is Baby Daddy. It's like a chocolate milk colour. Yoshi! You alright? What have you got? You got dinos. You got the dinos to it. Um, I don't know how I feel about this colour, to be honest. It's quite a perfect nude for the, um, for my fake tan that I've got on right now, to be honest. It's kind of like Posh Spice's little sister, maybe. I think this would look a little bit better when I'm pale. I don't know how I feel about this one. I didn't expect it to, I thought it would be a little bit more orange, but it's quite a, it's like a cool tone brown. Like it looks nice, for sure, like it, it looks cool, but I didn't expect this. Wow. What do you guys think? Comment down below what you think about this. Like, it, am I seeing things? Like, is this a little bit too wishy-washy? Because I, I kind of feel like it is. I didn't expect it to come out at the way it did, so um, that's... Yeah, okay. So, basically, my verdict is... Let's go through all of them. Okay, so, I reckon a win-win situation for this entire collection. Go for these, 100%. These are amazing. I really, really love these. The one, that, the one that I like the most is the pancake one. This one here. This one is incredible too. I really do like it. So, you can't go wrong with these. Even though it is like an incredible, beautiful highlighter, I do really like the highlighter. This is Kata Potato approved for pale, super duper pale skin. Um, I'm not sure about how it would look on deeper skin tones. I think it would just be a little bit too much. I reckon if you do it really, really lightly, like not have it packed on like I have, I think that was a huge mistake. I think if you do this really lightly on um, darker skin tones, this would look absolutely beautiful and incredible. But if you want to be like this, then just go for it because it's all it's all to do with preferences. But yeah, that is Kata Potato approved. Here's a dilemma. Okay, so... This collection hasn't wowed me. Like, it hasn't, like, oh my god, I've fallen off my bloody chair. This is incredible. Because this reminds me of a colour. I don't know, I can't, I can't pinpoint what colour it is, but there's something in his previous collections that are very similar to this. This is just literally unicorn blood, just a little bit lighter. This is literally prom night dream house mixed together. It's they're very similar. These two... Maybe even these three, but that reminds me of Posh Spice. These two are probably the most, like, exciting out of the entire lipstick collection. So, if I were you, I would honestly most likely just not buy the whole thing. I reckon just do a couple from each one. Like, this whole collection is beautiful. I collect his stuff, so I'm stuck with this. And I will use these, 100% for sure. Like, 1000% I will use these. But it's just kind of like... I've seen this, I've seen this, I've seen this, I've seen this before. These are kind of like the two brand new ones, if you get what I mean. Hello darling. My dog's here. So yeah, these two are probably the most unique um, that I have not seen in any of his other collections. It's not really Kata Potato approved, to be honest. Like, it's, it's, I can't believe I'm saying this. But my favourite lipsticks out of this are this colour here, this and this. Out of the six, I like half of what they have to offer in this collection, so... Yeah, which is a bit of a shame, but you know, I'm glad I tried them all out though. But yeah, I hope this hasn't put you off buying it, because it is a really cool collection for sure. It's just that someone who's got all of them and is like a lipstick genius when it comes to Jeffree Star stuff, because I know his stuff inside out, it just hasn't really impressed me a shit ton. So yeah, but yeah, um, nevertheless, I do like the collection, but is it Kobe Potato approved? No, because I only like half of them. So yeah, 
um, I told you guys I'd be honest. That is it for this collection. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what makeup look you want me to do with one of the lipsticks. Tell me which one to start off with. It doesn't matter. Even if I don't like it, it's all up to you guys. So just comment down below if you want me to do the pink one or if you want me to do the one that looks like unicorn blood, wifey. Tell me below and I will do it. I am going to try and do more makeup stuff more now that my skin is more under control. But if my skin flares up again, I will let you guys know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope to see you all again very soon. Happy shopping. Totally get these. I think these are incredible. I think they're amazing. But yeah, thanks, guys. See you all soon. So how do you mum for me? Look after yourself. I'm starving. I'm going to go and get lunch. Basically, all i got to say now is stay groovy. See you later, guys. Bye!